Namaste, Big Cat Earth Signs, Grand Rising. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 23rd, the sun enters Scorpio. Passions, intensity and transformations can be elevated during Scorpio season. You can make beneficial changes, discover your personal strength and employ it wisely. On the 24th, the sun in Scorpio trines Saturn in Pisces. Focusing on your objectives can assist you in informing long-term plans. Be careful not to take on excessive tasks. On the 25th, the moon in Pisces is conjunct to Neptune in Pisces. Whilst you focus on your long-term plans, be mindful of not overwhelming yourself. On the 26th, the moon enters Aries. The motivation is easily found today. Act swiftly to achieve your desires. On the 27th, Mars is opposition to Jupiter. Be willing to take risks to achieve your goals. This opposition transit can be extremely lucky. It can also be your downfall if you're selfish or overly confident. Remember the importance of self-restraint, humility and patience. On the 28th, the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus. The lunar eclipse magnifies everything, infusing a fresh, profoundity into your experiences. Releasing the past is difficult, but progressing forward is th therapeutic. You only need to embark on the initial first step. I've uploaded a video um, that, that will tell you how the full moon lunar eclipse will affect your individual rising signs. On the 29th, Mercury in Scorpio is conjunct to Mars in Scorpio. A splendid day <laughs> for devising ways to make significant power moves. Act swiftly. No one of your ideas is going to be what less than the other. But act swiftly, darling dears. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Big care wave. Namaste, Grand Rising Earth Signs. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your next seven days. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's dive in, darling dears, and kick off with the dice. Red dice, immediate intel. The white dice will back it up. Okay. Your energy for the next seven days is a two. The two is what adventure, darling dears. It's, it's an extremely lucky period for you. You're going to be getting a lot of good news, gifts, compliments. Um, it's also highlighting travel as well because that's part of adventure or the plans you're making around said travel mm -hmm. if you have a business partnership it's looking on the bright side over the next seven days the key words are to just broaden your horizons darling dears extremely lucky period for you you also have the energy of the five the five is your security mm -hmm. this is about um you making some kind of major decision around your security yeah Business plans, business plans around security could be a mortgage, um, signing an, a property agreement, a new job, lots of lots of tangible things going on for you over the next seven days, which are going to be extremely fortunate. It comes with the energy of a seven. Seven is a highly spiritual number and it's ruled by the moon. Mm -hmm. It may This reading may also be relevant for those born on the 7th, the 16th or the 25th. Um, the number seven rules the letters G, P, and Y. Your lucky days over the next seven days is 
Friday, Saturday, and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Energy of the seven speaks about reflection or assessment. Somebody's going through some kind of assessment, possibly getting to the truth of a situation, having new knowledge. Love it. So you're listening to your spiritual downloads, and it's also knowledge coming towards you. Mm -hmm. The energy of a two five. Um, you're going to hear of some a major defeat of a public figure in public office, darling dears. Their initials will have G, P, and Y. Mm -hmm. When will you hear it? Post on Friday, Saturday, or Tuesday, darling dears. Something major is coming your way. Remember, you, remember to mark it down on your almanac and hit me up in the comments when it goes down, Bobby Brown. I love it. I don't hate it. Mm -hmm. seven is a highly spiritual number we are in a year of a seven darling dears this is about you understanding this is about you gaining ancient wisdom or as i said spiritual downloads tapping into your higher self moon energy um the moon energy is about your emotions, it's about your relationships, it's also representative of the mother and children energy. Mm -hmm. Moon is Cancer as well as Pisces energy, the moon is feminine energy. How much more intel can I give you for this? Um, Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Oh, and the energy of the seven on the tarot is represented by the Justice card. Um, Libra energy, the house of contractual relationships, whether marriage, business, um, it could also represent a religion, some, some kind of contract somebody has with self could be a contract of celibacy, darling dears. It also speaks about open enemies, yeah, open enemies will also be revealed, maybe as you're being blessed, the ones with what? that are out there to put holes in your boat, they're going to be notified. You're going to notice them, darling dears. Mm -hmm. All right, let's press on. All right, we're going to use, we're going to go with your runestone. Uraz, I said Al Gaz, moon energy. My mind was still on that. It's Uraz. This is represented by the Hierophant card in Tarot. When it's going this way, it's on its way down, darling dears. Lean in, bestie. It's represented by the letters U and V. So you've got the letters U, V, G, P, and Y are going to be relevant to you over the next seven days. It's also representative of the number two and the number five. Going to be extremely lucky for you over the next seven days or the multiple of that the two and the five is what a seven everything is tying into the read darling dears mm -hmm. this speaks about um somebody is feeling they made a rush a rash decision you are them somebody who's possibly violent to you in the past whether mentally physically emotionally or financially why do i say financially the hierophant is the second house taurus energy it's the house of your resources and your essential needs how you what you prioritize in your life it's your financial security your assets mm -hmm, as well as your skills your skills and your talents darling dears somebody's not happy about the skills and talents that you've been displaying of late you're getting a lot of negative energy this is a protection rune as well as a protection card in tarot you need to what fortify your your protection of self obsidian black crystal you can wear it put it next to a mirror in your bedroom if you have one if you have a mirror in your bedroom this is about you spiritually protecting yourself seven as i said is a highly spiritual number we have the hier the hierophant your rise on its on practically on its face protect yourself spiritually you have major incoming we already saw the energy of the two which is going to what be able to allow you to to continue with an adventure or go on an adventure over the next seven days oh love it don't hate it all right let's carry on let's carry on let's get your ancestral message around this 
I'll give it a quick shifty. Your first card, Ace of Cups, your cup run off over. This is fulfillment. Fulfillment is usually aligned with the number nine in numerology. You're going to attain something, something that is coming to fruition. I told you over the next seven days, you're getting a major blessing, darling. This could also be a windfall of money. The Ace of Cups is represented by a new relationship, a new love, or a new opportunity coming towards you. Your cup run off over. Love it. It's also the cup of self love. But it's definitely about success, your emotions, and it's also about relationships. A new relationship is coming towards you, darling dears. Whether you not you want to engage, that's up to you. But I would still advise here at Don't Get Smoke Central, we investigate everyone. Everyone gets investigated. No one gets a free a free ride into your perimeter. Right? Tarot cards for guidance. You may even be tarot readers, darling dears. You can actually pull a card to actually help you with, with your making your decisions, see how your week is going. But it's about not second guessing the card that comes out. Read the energy of the card, the number of the card. Look at the people's faces, look at their hand gestures. Look at the colors that are sticking out for you, darling dears. There's going to be a message for you. If you have a tarot business, darling dears, your cup is about to run off over over the next seven days. It's about guidance, darling dears. But trust in that you've got the guidance when you go within for all answers. Yeah, because something that's in the incubation stage is, a, stage is about to come forward. And it's also the birth of a child or you're going to hear about a pregnancy, darling dears. Mm -hmm. A new beginning. If you have an idea that has been in the incubation stage or you're about to release something new, darling dear. Changing up the way you've done things. This is a new beginning for you. A rebirth of you. Love it. Mm -hmm. law number 25 of the 48 laws of power you're going to be feeling reborn darling dears all of that green around it is about your heart chakra somebody's healed their heart mm -hmm. heart chakra is also represented by thursday as well as moon energy cancer and pisces coming out again okay could be an energy that you was healing from was a cancer or pisces energy um, it represents the direction of north. Maybe you'll be traveling to the north or someone is from the north. Personally, I like to see it as the north node. Somebody's living according to their life purpose. This is why you're about to be blessed and this is why you must spiritually protect yourself over the next seven days. Base of the deck, darling dear. Yeah, love it. Bubbling to the top. Containment. Whatever you contain, this is your creativity, your sarkal chakra, darling dears. Mm hmm your sacral chakra is about your emotions, but it's about your body confidence, darling dears. You, someone's been working on their body. Mm-hmm. But it looks like you've been using elixirs from the inside out. It could be soups. It could be sea moss. Because you know how I am with the sea moss. Listen. Mm-hmm. But it's a new beginning. Something's about to bubble to the top. I told you. Abundance of some form is coming your way over the next seven days. Abundance comes in many shapes and forms. Not just the Skrilla.com, not just that darling dear. It's also an information. It could be the abundance of meeting new soul tribe, a new business. As I said, body confidence. Many things are about to be rolled out for you, Earth signs, over the next seven days. Right, let's choose a deck that I haven't used in a while. I'm going to go with this one. I really haven't used this in a while. What did I say? Victory and success. Six of Wands in the upright. Expect victory and success of the next seven days. Let's get a good shift here. Okay, that one wanted to fall away. Victory and success, darling dear. Because you've done a lot of internal work. Definitely expect that height. Um, Major Arcana is the universe stepping in on your behalf, darling dears. So as I said, somebody's about to reach the pinnacle of a spiritual journey, as well as if you have a spiritual practice. Maybe you read cards for people online, astrology, numerology, whatever it is, darling dears. You're going to be seen as head and shoulders above your peers. You come with a different je ne sais quoi, quoi, quoi. It's also what? Somebody's going to realize they did the right thing in isolating themselves from certain situations. The hermit is about you going within, darling dears, for self-examination as well as self-improvement. The partner or friend or whoever is coming towards you in the next seven days, darling dears. 
there's definitely going to be an age difference. But this unexpected change is going to be a change for the better. You learn to stand alone and walk alone. You're able to what? Spot betrayal and dishonesty as you allow new friendships to come towards you. This is about you being open, darling dear, but not so open that you forget who you are, where you came from. This is eight of wands. It's about contact, darling dear. There's going to be a lot of emails, text messages, and whatnot. Lots of social contacts, darling dear, but it's definitely a card of travel and status. Somebody's going to be traveling first class. Booking that ticket. I told you the universe is blessing you. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's give it another shifty. That was a message for someone. Hermit energy, Virgo energy. Virgo is the sixth house. And that's about your health, darling dear. Somebody's making the right, the right moves in their health. They've actually managed to isolate down to what issue it is. One's energy. I'm hearing joint pain. Mm -hmm. What else can my big cat water signs expect over? I said water signs, and this is earth sign reading. Why did I say water? Freudian slip meant to come out. Let's quickly examine the water energy. The water energy is about your um your thoughts, your intellect, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Your intellect around your thoughts is about you being mysterious, but your thoughts, because I'm saying when I say thoughts, I'm, it means that you're highly intuitive. Mm -hmm. But somebody is seeing you as a mystery, darling dears. This person was extremely emotional. They're seeing you as you keeping your emotions emotions private. Challenges that may arise, or should I say, what's coming up over the next week? We've got the page of swords. This is you being curious, um, learning new things. Could be in a legal field. It's also what reading of contracts, darling dears. The page could also represent your progeny doing well at school, darling dears. Why? Because they've got the thirst for. For learning, curiosity, yeah. Mm -hmm. The page of swords in the upright, I might add, is represented by air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, mm -hmm. as well as earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is definitely an unexpected message that's coming towards you, darling dears. Could be in the form of a date, someone with common interests. And I said there's going to be a lot of... Um, a lot of communication, text message, email, lots of messaging, darling dears. But it's also a reminder that you are being watched. The hillbillies have launched another investigation. You're being watched, darling dears. Somebody's watching you win and they're not liking it. Mm -mm. Yeah, king of pentacles. What is approaching you? It's because you took a risk, darling dears. You took a gamble and a chance on yourself. King of Pentacles also represents a loyal partner with a husband or wife because, you know, gender is fluid in tarot. Mm -hmm. The King of Pentacles is earth and fire energy. This partner coming towards you is going to be somebody who has their... They're rich, basically. Yeah, they've got, they've got substantial money, darling dears. It could also be speak of somebody who is curious about the work that you do. You get another supporter or benefactor or many benefactors coming towards you. Mm -hmm. You're a natural born leader and maybe you're taking a leap of faith towards entrepreneurialism. Ending a contract, page energy. Leaving, leave the work situation, darling dear. Yeah, because you didn't feel successful there. Maybe you met a glass ceiling or you're deciding to go into something more spiritual, soul to energy. Something that gets makes you feel young again. When the job that you're doing makes you feel young again, darling dear, that's not a job. The amount of time you spend on it will, will be just like that, darling dears. Yeah, world card. Yeah, someone didn't want a situation to end with you and it also speaks about spying on the internet. World card in reverse is people or a person using um, different different display picture, different display. It could also be a catfish, darling dears. What did I say? Be careful of catfishes over the next seven days. Any challenges for my earth signs? Apart from the catfish, challenges to stay focused on your work, darling dears, because you're about to see major success. Yeah, base of the deck. This is also removing yourself from toxic situations. Somebody's working on cutting toxic soul ties over the next seven days. You're an earth angel. You've been on a difficult journey where there was a lot of fighting and you was extremely disappointed with those that you was fighting with, darling dears. Maybe they was fighting with you, never fought for you. This is you removing yourself from a situation once and for all. You may even get incoming messages from people that you've already removed from your life. 
Mm -hmm. They did what they did and you moved out the way. You're going to have messages, darling. But these are toxic people. Disappoint them. Don't give them the energy that they're looking for. Remember, when you went through hard times, the hermit energy, who put you in that situation? Who watched you in that situation? And who helped whom or what helped you out? Only God. If not for God, darling dears, you wouldn't have gotten over a difficult period in your life. And you would not be receiving the blessing that you are not having now. Remember, on, on the runestone, it came out sideways, telling you to be protected. But God is saying that you are still my child. Yeah. This is a ceremony, darling dears. Um, going into, somebody going into a new workforce. A new religion, new level of spirituality. Somebody's also going into the position of teacher or being seen as a master teacher. Love it. Yeah. And someone is going to realize they really can't come back to your energy. Mm -hmm. Pay them. Well, pay them dust. Listen, I live by two of these and one of those. What? Oh, sorry. I forgot. It's supposed to be really spiritual. Okay, then. Love and light. Yeah. If I've already made you leave because you've got raccoon eyes, you can't come back, blood. Mm -mm. I love my edges, my hairline. Listen, it's very important to me. Mm -hmm. One card to tell the big cats how best they might navigate the next seven days. One card. Yeah. Seven of three of swords is about betrayal, darling. This base of the deck. Be careful of betrayal in partnerships. Mm. High Priestess is telling me that you already know this, whom this partnership was. And that's the truth. A partnership that you've always felt like you was juggling or being juggled. Be careful of that, darling dear. High Priestess is about remaining mysterious to this person. Queen of Pentacles fell to the King of Pentacles. It's definitely a union. A spiritually guided union. Two of Cups, darling dears. Somebody's still going to be thinking about previous heartbreaks. Previous heartbreaks in business, whatever the circumstance or paradigm for you. The right partner is being called in, darling dears. This is part of the abundance that you will be getting over the next seven days. For those that want a partnership, some people don't want it. That's their business, darling dears. Free will and all that. Mm -hmm. Final card of guidance from my earth signs for the next seven days. Keep it popping. What did I just say? Eight of wands. Mm hmm messages and fast movement um seven of wands is about you having to stand your ground scotty you will have to stand your ground someone or someone you gave a block party to let them remain blocked they haven't changed darling dears world card will get you back on the same um hamster wheel of fucking knees going backwards darling dears something that we knew we don't go backwards ever forwards let's get a final message for my earth signs and then lots of messages came out there, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me see how many people are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, excuse me, one, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay, 15 is the devil card, Capricorn energy, so you are being represented, the 15 goes down to a 6, it's about you wanting harmony and teamwork, and you are going to be receiving that, the energy of the 6 is ruled by um, Venus energy, so that's Libra, and Taurus and Libra, mm -hmm. money, romance someone is going to be seeing you as ethereal darling dears yeah love it final cards we're going to use to keep a deck and then we're out of here to get great oh this just fell on my lap the expectation of 10 is about completion ended on the cycle for the renewal of you divine has created a window for you darling dears mm. this looks like um a castle in the background when we see castles on cards, darling dears, it's what unexpected fortune, good fortune coming your way. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unexpected good fortune, darling dears, monetary or otherwise. Yeah, because you're mature. And again, this is on the six. The six is also important to you, darling dears. Split the deck. Someone that wasted your time. 
is being caught up with a harlot or a time waster, a situation that is over for you. You bossed up on them. This is why you're being watched, darling dears. Yeah, somebody is comparing you to a number two. Imagine that. That was the first mistake, Earth sign. Posh, clap, and a fist bump. On that note, I dropped me mic. Toddler to my Teesprings. My Patreon or my TikToks where I also upload videos. If you'd like a personal read from me. Ooh, pardon me. That was a spiritual belch because I speak the truth. Roof. Pinky is up. If you'd like a personal read from me, please hit me up in the Gmail. All of my intel is in the description box below. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, big cat wave. Until we meet again. Cat, 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 cat.